What started as a fire in a recycling yard in Phoenix quickly spread into a type one incident. At least one firefighter has been injured and power has been knocked out to hundreds. It sent thick black smoke into the air and a plume that could be seen for miles. Thank you for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Mitch Carr. And I'm Rachel Cole. You know, more than 200 firefighters have been working to contain that massive fire. And Team 12's Josh Sanders has been live at the recycling plant all day long tracking this situation for us. It started near 36th Ave and Lincoln. That's where Josh is right now with the very latest. Good evening, Josh. Yeah, that fire is so big that they've now deemed it a type one incident fire, usually uh, for wildfires. And there's a lot of material that burns because this is the hottest day of the year. So right now, this is the largest response from the Phoenix Fire Department in history. Saturday, more than 200 firefighters representing 10 different agencies battling the recycling yard fire in southwest Phoenix. In some of these commercial buildings, we have tires, we have a lumber yard, and we have recycling parts, whether it's dishwashers or appliances. Call started around 1230 in the afternoon. The fire escalating past a six alarm fire into a type one incident typically seen in wildfires. The plume of smoke even picked up by the National Weather Service radar. We smoke. saw the smoke in the sky. We thought it was smog at first. And then um, as we kept getting closer and closer to the city, it just kept getting darker and darker. And then we finally saw the funnel point. So you just don't see this. Yeah, it's close to home. Valley. At one point, the fire jumping 35th Avenue, multiple commercial buildings and homes evacuated. High winds and heat adding to the fight. That wind was blowing east, and that's where those other businesses were. And when that east wind kicked up, it was starting to extend to those occupancies businesses. It's going to burn for a while. I can tell you that that uh, these firefighters are going to be out here throughout the night putting out all remaining hot spots, and they're probably going to be out uh, all the way through tomorrow also. And to Captain Keller's point, well, the fire has reignited just west in the same yard of the recycling yard that the original fire uh, started. It's continuing to burn, and firefighters are now being redeployed to attack those flames. And, of course, there's that one firefighter that was sent to the hospital for non-serious injuries. We're in southwest Phoenix. Josh Sanders, 12 News.